Glandiolol, IN, is an ultra-short-acting, beta-1 superselective intravenous adrenergic antagonist, which decreases the heart rate effectively with less negative effect on blood pressure or myocardial contractility. In comparison to other beta blockers, Landiolol has the shortest elimination half-life, 3 to 4 minutes, ultra-rapid onset of effect, heart rate begins to decrease immediately after completion of administration, and predictable effectiveness with inactive metabolites, heart rate returns to baseline levels at 30 minutes after completion of Landiolol hydrochloride administration. The pure S enantiomer structure of Landiolol is believed to develop less hypotensive side effects in comparison to other beta blockers. This has a positive impact on the treatment of patients when reduction of heart rate without decrease in arterial blood pressure is desired. Landiolol was developed by modifying the chemical structure of esmolol to produce a compound with a higher rate of cardioselectivity and a greater potency without increasing its duration of action. It is sold as Landiolol hydrochloride. Based on its positive benefit risk profile, Landiolol has been granted the marketing authorization and introduced to the European markets under the brand names Rapablock, Raplock, Runrepeak, Landablock mid-2016, in two formulations of 300 mg vial and 20 mg ampule. Landiolol is available in Japan under the brand names Onoact 50 mg and Corbeta 12.5 mg for improvement of image quality in coronary CT angiography. Mode of action The drug acts as an ultra-short-acting beta-1 selective blocking agent. It is rapidly hydrolyzed to an inactive form by both carboxylesterase in the liver and pseudocholinesterase in the plasma, resulting in an elimination half-life of about 4 minutes. Landiolol is a highly selective beta-1 adrenoreceptor antagonist. The selectivity for beta-1 receptor blockade is 255 times higher than for beta-2 receptor blockade. That inhibits the positive chronotropic effects of the catecholamines adrenaline and noradrenaline on the heart, where beta-1 receptors are predominantly located. Landiolol, as other beta blockers, is thought to reduce the sympathetic drive, resulting in reduction in heart rate, decrease in spontaneous firing of ectopic pacemakers, slowing the conduction and increase the refractory period of the AV node. Landiolol does not exhibit any membrane stabilizing activity or intrinsic sympathomimetic activity in vitro. In preclinical and clinical studies, Landiolol controlled tachycardia in an ultra-short-acting manner with a fast onset and offset of action and further demonstrated anti-ischemic and cardioprotective effects. To date, Landiolol has the shortest plasma half-time and the highest cardioselectivity among beta blockers in clinical use. The selectivity of Landiolol for beta-1 receptor blockade is 255 times higher than for beta-2 receptor blockade. In comparison metoprolol, has a much less cardioselectivity, landiolol is 100 times more cardioselective than metoprolol, and 8 times more cardioselective than esmolol, and 60 times longer half-life, 3 to 4 hours comparing to 3 to 4 minutes in case of landiolol. FDA points out that CYP2D6 poor metabolizers will have decreased cardioselectivity for metoprolol due to increased metoprolol blood levels, since the gene variation reduces the conversion of metoprolol to inactive metabolites leading to almost five-fold higher plasma concentrations of metoprolol. Activation of beta-2 adrenergic receptors contributes to bronchial dilation and acceleration of alveolar fluid clearance in the pulmonary airway system. Consequently, a cardioselective beta-1 blocker with limited effect on beta-2 receptor decreases the heart rate without the pulmonary adverse effects in patients with COPD or asthma. Pharmacological stimulation of beta-2 receptors increases coronary blood flow in healthy humans and in patients with mildly aterosclerotic coronary arteries. Thus, not only does a cardio-selective beta-1 blocker reduce myocardial oxygen demand during exercise, but it also unveils beta-2 receptor-mediated coronary exercise hyperemia, while reducing the heart rate selectively. Interestingly, landiolol does not possess any sodium and calcium antagonistic properties, which makes it a more suitable cardio-selective beta blocker for patients with heart failure due to its lesser potency for negative inotropy, while offering higher potency for heart rate reduction. Contrary to landiolol, exposure to other beta blockers such as esmolol amplifies the re-expression of beta receptors which explains the drug tolerance effect seen during long-term esmolol infusion. 
Long-term exposure of cells to beta blockers which act as pharmacochaperones will raise the total surface level of beta-1 adrenergic receptors, resulting in exaggerating responses to endogenous agonists such as catecholamines, if the treatment is suddenly stopped. This phenomenon has been described as the beta blocker withdrawal rebound. However, landiolol lacks appreciable pharmacochaperoning activity, as landiolol can hardly permeate cell membranes due to its large polar surface area. Biotransformation landiolol is metabolized via hydrolysis of the ester moiety. In vitro and in vivo data suggest that landiolol is mainly metabolized in the plasma by pseudocholinesterases and carboxylesterases. Hydrolysis releases a ketal, the alcoholic component, that is further cleaved to yield glycerol and acetone, and the carboxylic acid component, metabolite M1, which subsequently undergoes beta oxidation to form metabolite M2, a substituted benzoic acid. The beta-1 adrenoreceptor blocking activity of landiolol metabolites M1 and M2 is 1 200th or less of the parent compound indicating a negligible effect on pharmacodynamics taking into account the maximum recommended landiolol dose and infusion duration. Neither landiolol nor the metabolites M1 and M2 showed inhibitory effects on the metabolic activity of different cytochrome P450 molecular species CYP1A2, 2C9, 2C19, 2D6 and 3A4 in vitro. The cytochrome P450 content was not affected in rats after repeated intravenous administration of landiolol. There are no data on a potential effect of landiolol or its metabolites on CYPP450 induction or time-dependent inhibition available. Uses landiolol is indicated as an antiarrhythmic agent in Europe for supraventricular tachycardia and for the rapid control of ventricular rate in patients with atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter in perioperative, postoperative, or other circumstances where short term control of the ventricular rate with a short acting agent is desirable. Non compensatory sinus tachycardia, where, in the physician's judgment, the rapid heart rate requires specific intervention. The beneficial effects of landiolol have been demonstrated in over 60 clinical trials PubMed search August 2018. Landiolol was generally well tolerated, with a relatively low risk of hypotension and bradycardia. Most clinical trials with landiolol have been conducted in perioperative settings for the treatment or prophylaxis of supraventricular tachycardia or tachyarrhythmia before or after cardiac and non-cardiac surgeries. Randomized clinical trials have been published to comap or landiolol with placebo. Case reports on the use of landiolol after myocardial infarction, refractory electrical storm have been published. The efficacy of landiolol in septic shock in human is currently being investigated in large randomized controlled trials. It should be noted that the fast turnover of landiolol will diminish most adverse events due to self-limiting administration. Landiolol may be cardioprotective in septic rats by normalizing coronary microcirculation through blockage of sepsis-induced decrease in expression of VEGF signaling system but independent of inflammatory cytokines. Landiolol is a promising drug to manage postoperative atrial fibrillation in non-cardiac surgery with a profile that allow for control of heart rate with minimal impact on blood pressure. Landiolol has limited negative enotropic effect and is well tolerated by the respiratory system. Additional benefits related to the regulation of inflammatory response and blunting of the adrenergic pathway probably contribute to the decreased incidence of POAF. The use of low dosage 5 to 10 mcg per kilogram per minute is usually sufficient to rapidly control heart rate which is associated with earlier and higher rate of conversion to sinus rhythm as compared to the controls. The excellent tolerance of landiolol at lower dosage 3 to 5 mcg per kilogram per minute allows to initiate prophylactic use during surgery and postoperatively. Landiolol prophylaxis is associated with reduced incidence of postoperative atrial fibrillation without triggering adverse events related to a beta blockade. Optimized infusion scheme with continuing landiolol infusion in the post-operative period seems to be associated with better response, while infusion limited to the intraoperative period may not be sufficient in patients with impaired left ventricular function LVEF. Conversion table for continuous intravenous infusion, micrograms per kilogram per minute to milliliter per hour, example below for Rapablock 300 mg, 50 ml equals 6 mg per milliliter strength. References